Oi, oi, guys. It's actually Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Up and out, man, here doing it. And uh, I got up, well, I woke up, I should say. Woke up early ish. And calls the old, the old mind in the morning. Starts to give it the old large one, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> so I. Uh, <coughs> I uh, decided to practice what I preach all the time, and that is get up, get out there. Now I've got a car about to freaking back up onto me. Hear me. Um, it's about getting up and moving, getting your mind in a positive mind. And the way to do that is start doing, which is that PPA, positive, progressive action. Because you can have the PMA, the positive mental attitude, but you've got to have the PPA to get yourself moving. You get out of the way of this car before it really does run me down. <laughs> There's voting going on today, and it's all over the bloody shop. Jeez Louise. And uh, so I got up and got my shoes on, and uh, got out here and put my old headphones on. Started listening to some podcast. Wow, you just nearly hit a bird. <laughs> and these birds ain't bloody small. Look, they're like, I don't know if you can see them. They'd be, <laughs> they're the red headed cranes that we have here, and they're huge. I mean, this one here, that was, I just showed you, it's like coming up past my waist. It's like, <laughs> right, be, and that car, I don't know what the, why do people drive around kind of blind or something? But uh, it actually kind of brings me to what I wanted to talk about. And it was uh, when I threw the old uh, headphones on and I brought up Jay Shetty's podcast. Go and check him out, guys. From North, he's from North London. I believe he lives in LA now. I think he said he lives in LA now. I'm not sure, but he's from North London, Indian fella. But uh, used to be a... He was a monk for a while, which pulled him out of a lot of, uh, a lot of his own mindsets, which were leading the wrong way. Which is exactly what, uh, exactly how I got into the journey I got into. Following what I'm following, it works. So, but anyway, I was listening to him, Jay Shetty, and he's bringing up about suffering and stuff like that, based around suffering, trauma, and things came to mind with me of how we spend our day to day in some of the smaller sufferings and traumas that I'll tell you the truth guys we're bringing it on us I mean all that it's all down to us right and how our mind works and how we how we work on our mind but when it comes to those day-to-day -day ones when it comes to those areas like someone cuts you up in traffic right and the reason I, it's funny because I just thought I was walking down the street while I'm listening to the podcast and uh, this uh, this guy with a trailer, a bunch of lawn equipment, he pulls out where my girls had their accident and a car comes up, saw him, must have saw him, his car's coming up on the straight and all of a sudden just lays on the horn and I'm like, you know what, the guy with the trailer has probably just driven off and he's not bothered by it whatsoever. The person that's laid on that horn is in anger and in suffering, right? Anger is suffering. If you're getting angry, you're in suffering. But that person that laid on the horn and is probably in some kind of a anger state, their suffering's gonna last for a while after. The guy in the trailer, he's probably just took off and not even thinking anything more about it. But the person that's laid on that horn is now probably saying, I don't believe it. And if they've got someone in the car room, they're talking about it, it's raising more suffering and negativity, and it's causing a big issue. Because, hey, listen, your body chemistry's changing, and your cortisol levels are going up straight away. I'm not saying I'm anything but perfect, guys, not by a long shot. Ain't no such thing as perfection, and we're human. We're actually Im imperfect already. 
yeah but if you just pause don't hit that horn don't get angry put yourself in the mindset of maybe the person that pulled out in front of you yeah okay you might be thinking wow why would they do that and you're going getting angry at it calling names shouting out the window sometimes flicking the bird or whatever and signals you throw out the window right but if you just pause put yourself in the picture of that person they may not they may have they may have just heard some bad news or they may have and there's no excuse for pulling out in front of you i'm not saying that at all but if you can switch your mindset to think of that other person and think what they may be going through or maybe something that's happened or they just made a mistake they just right then we can have we can get into a little bit more of an understanding yeah calm your mind down by putting yourself in the other person's shoes and then you're not in the suffering because you're calming your mind to it so it takes that pause and that breath and that thought pattern of okay I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that suffering. And then tune in to what may have made you go that way in the first place. Probably not the event that's in front of you, right? Maybe you think this person is, you know, you might be shouting, oh, do you think you're better than me? You think you, you think you need to be first and, right? Well, where's that coming from? What's the insecurities? that's going on within yourself that's making your mind go in that direction and start thinking about that what about the person that cuts in line with, with at the supermarket or something like that right what they think they what are you kidding me it's one person guys yeah what is the point in literally messing up your body chemistry because someone cut in front you know I know some of my stuff, you know, especially when it comes to anger, comes down to when I was getting bullied when I was a kid. Don't get bullied now. <laughs> but, you know, when, you're, when, you, when you go through a process like that, and then someone, you think someone's starting to try and tread on your toes or get the better of you or get one up on you or push you in that direction, that's where the anger is going to start coming from, guys. Because what it is in front of you, whatever has happened, like the person cutting in front or the person, you know, in traffic pushing in front of you, it's not worth it. So track where that may be coming from. The only way you can do that is by start getting in touch with your own mind and start looking at where the thinking patterns are coming from, where the programs are, where the belief systems are. And look at that. Otherwise, if we don't start doing something about the day's the day suffering, we're continually going to be in, in, that, in that cycle of suffering. Do, do something about the simple things that you can do. And they are simple things, guys. That, you know, traffic. I mean, my wife, she can't stand being in traffic. She'll go loopy. She weaves in and out. She keeps changing lanes. And I'm normally the passenger in the car because if I drive... And then I start getting told how to, drive, how to drive, right? Backseat driver, my wife. <laughs> um, but when you're, when I'm the passenger in the car and she's weaving in and out, I'm like, just stick with one, just stick with one lane. Why are you, what's the, what's the big deal? What's the problem here? Right? And uh, yeah, so. Think about it. Think about those simple things, guys. Those day-to-day -day things that be aware of where you're going with it. Be aware of the fact that you're raising your 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 anger's raising, your frustrations raising. You may have some anxieties about something that's coming up, which could turn to anger, right? Because the anger will cover it. The anger's the lid. It's what's underneath that anger that's causing the issue, causing the anger, I should say. But uh, anyway, go and, go and subscribe to, for, to my channel, guys, please. I really do appreciate the numbers I'm picking up. And it's, it's helping get out to other people. It's the reason I ask. 
let's get this out there to other people let's get people seeing it and yeah i may pick up business from it i hope i do because then people are getting help and all the while there's people getting help for their own mind then they're shifting starting their journey and they're on a better journey than they was so yeah i hope i do get the business from it so go out there and subscribe guys give me a like pass it around let people know and uh, you don't know whose lives you're going to be changing you might not even know the person at all they could be on the other side of the world somewhere but you know what you could be shifting you could be shifting someone because as soon as they get in contact with me because i i do all my work through zoom so i do it all online and uh it works out great that way because people have flexibility like that you don't have to leave your home and uh and i'll work with you so uh yeah i hope everybody has a great day keep that suffering down start thinking before you before you react stay the course guys namaste